Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another unboxing for Epic the Card Game. This is Guardians of Gowana. Um, so this is a little mini expansion. Um, so they have uh, some of these boxes like this. They're kind of like pre, not really pre-constructed decks, but like extra little decks. And then they're, um, and then they also have like booster packs. So what's neat about this is that it's, the base game had 120, so it's 30 cards for each color. This only has 60 cards, so it's going to be, um, I think, what, 15 for each color then? So it's like half the size. Um, half the size deck, so it's, you're only able to make two decks out of this, but it's enough for two players to play two multicolored decks, um, which is kind of fun as well. Um, they also come with a bunch of extra things in there, which we'll go over. So, first thing we want to look at is, I just want to show off the instruction books. This is a much nicer instruction book than the base game. Because um, it actually has pictures, which is something I, I love. Um, so it actually shows how your table should be set up, what's in battle, uh, things like that. Um, we had stuff where explaining how the cards work, so I'm not going to re-go over all of this. You can double check the base game if you want that explanation but you're mentioning what powers versus abilities uh with some pictures discarding deploying actually showing your different positions um all that kind of fun stuff um turn sequence initiative blocker steps it just it's a better constructed um rule book there's gonna be some new um Keywords in here, of course, so like control controller. Uh, friends is a new one. Uh, if any opponents have more cards in your hand than you, friends' ability effects are on, which means they apply as normal. Um, so as long as your opponent has more cards than you, you get the effect. That's kind of fun. Uh, there's a grudge ability. When a champion you control a grudge, which you play for any reason, you gain the effects listed. Uh, invoke. Uh, you invoke a card from, play it from your discard pile without paying its cost, then banish it instead of putting it back in your discard pile. Um, we have loyalty, tribute, recall, we've seen all those, righteous, recycle, transform. Unblockable, unbanishable, unbreakable, and then the different formats you can play. I'm not gonna get not gonna get into all that too much. Um, so let's look at some of the other neat stuff that comes in. So we're gonna get these health trackers, um, which we didn't have in the base game. So again, if you looked at the base game video, um, so you gotta have like pen or paper to do this. So now instead, you're gonna get these health trackers. The idea is you start with 30 health, and you're supposed to start like kind of keep them signal like this so then as you you should start with you know 30 health and then I don't know whichever way you want to do it so as you take damage and then you can rotate it to keep track of how much you're taking um, so that's the idea there and it's double sided so you can get some um, higher health if you're playing with like a higher count um some different things there and then they have some uh another set for player two so that's some of the other different characters on there yeah so if you're playing like four player or a high or a team game you need a higher health count there's that um really happy they included was these so game terms um this is why i think all games need to start including when they have terms like this just big cards like this, they're going to explain um, just a quick thing I can have. Like, I don't, like, there's one for each player, which is kind of neat, but I don't even care if it's, like, one for the table. Um, the Ninja Turtles and Batman game, miniature games, good use as well. They have big sheets out that, like, have, like, just quick rules. Like, anything like that. Like, they should always have something for taking your turn. Like any kind of a game also includes something with some of the um, keywords. The only problem is this is some of the new keywords and basic terms. It's not every single one. I would have almost preferred like four cards with just the keywords on them. 
Um, although I get that, like, when you, if they introduce a new keyword in, like, a booster pack, you're not going to be able to include these big cards. Um, but that's all right. And then we're going to have a turn tracker to keep track of who's first player. Um, we get some plus one and minus and plus two counters, which are, again, this is just stuff. You can keep track of it in a different way, but the fact they include it is really fun. Um, and then your big cards here, your big tokens here, gold trackers. So I have my gold or I've spent my gold. Um, and again, is that really necessary? Nope, but it makes the game more fun. Um, and then before we jump in the cards, we're going to get a bunch more tokens. So we have 12 wolf tokens, which are 2-2 two -two with just some new artwork uh, from the base game, which is fun. And then the opposite side are zombies. Um... I hope that they always keep them the same one side to the other. Just so it's easier to keep track of. Um, and then we have humans. And they gave you 20 of these. And then demons. So if you bought the base game and you bought this set. Um, you're going to have all your different. You have plenty of cards. You have all the tokens you're going to probably need. You have a. Uh, health counters stuff like that so it's gonna make the game a lot more fun um so i would recommend um picking up one of these other probably box sets um look you know that way you have with the base game because that way if you have the base game and you get one of these then you have all the things that make the game more fun versus or just pick up one of these to begin with if you want to see if you like the game if you do then pick up the base game um and get the extra 120 cards. All right, let's see what we got here. For our good characters, we have um, a bold leader. Tribute to put two human tokens into play. Loyalty to your human tokens gain blitz this turn. Uh, consecrate. Draw two cards or banish all currently blocked champions or banish all blocking champions. Devoted Guardian. Ambush tribute. You may tribute you may bash target champion you control and other target champion with less attack. Uh, a familiar ghost. Ambush. Grudge gain eight health. Guiding spirit. Grudge with recycle. A jungle dragon. Ambush, Airborne, Loyalty 2, Unbreak, Discard Gains, Unbreakable, and Untargetable this turn. Keeper of the Vigil, uh, Blitz 2, or Blitz. At the end of your turn, repair your ch all your champions. Oh, that's helpful, because uh, then they can all block. Uh, last Rates, gain 5 health, or draw a card. Or, if this is your, if it's your turn, gain 2 health for each champion you control, then banish all champions. Um, redemption. Draw two cards or put up to two cards at zero champions from a discard pile into play under your control. Respected commander. Unbanishable. Loyalty two. Draw two cards. This card would take damage. You may take that damage instead. Oh, well, that's tiny. It says, like, a lot, not a lot of defense, but you could basically, um, keep that out there if you want. Uh, and just take a hit. So that'd be kind of fun to do. Uh, definitely going to be reasons for that. Uh, rev revered spirit. Or revered spirit. Sorry. Um, draw a card. Grudge. Put a human token into play for each card in your hand. Smite the wicked. Draw two cards. Or target player banishes the highest attack champion. They choose if tied. Talisman of Protection. Uh, if you're untargetable this turn, target champion get unbreakable and pay one to draw two cards. Traveling Exorcist. Uh, when another champion breaks, if this card is still in play, you may banish target card from any discard pile. And True Believer, Righteous. At the end of your turn, if you have unspent gold, draw a card. Alright, so the yellow... The yellow uh, good cards have some interesting new effects. So let's see what wild brings. They're usually big beasties like the Alice or 
Allosaurus, Ambush, Blitz, 11, Kang. Uh, Devouring Embers, deal 7 damage to target. Your champion gains breakthrough this turn. Uh, Dire Bear, Frenzy, Breakthrough, Tribute, Dry Card. Uh, Dire Wolf, Ambush. This card has plus 6, plus 6, and can't be damaged. Uh, we have an Echoing Bellows. It's a giant event. Draw two cards. Reveal a champion from your hand. Deal damage equal to the revealed champion's attack to each champion. Expansion Shaman. Uh, ambush Tribute. Target Champion gets plus 6, plus 6, and it has Blitz. Fires of Rebirth, draw two cards, or return target champion from your discard pile to your hand. You may deal damage equal to its attack to target champion. Well, that's nice. Fireball and an enemy summon. Uh, Huntsman. Uh, ambush and Blitz. Tribute, deal two damage to a target. Living Thicket, which is a plant. We haven't seen plants before. Uh, Frenzy, can't be damaged. Which is good, because it only has one, so basically as long as your opponent has more, he's, he can't be hurt. Uh, makeshift Mutation. Deal 2 damage to target champion gets plus 4. You may invoke. Uh, play this card without playing this card, then banish it instead of putting it into a discard pile. Uh, Prey Stalker. Uh, ambushing Frenzy. You may play champions as if though they have Ambush. Raise. Oh boy, they just destroyed that village. Draw two cards or deal seven damage to a target. Scorch, deal two damage to a target. Uh, Frenzy, deal two damage to a target. So it could go up to four. Nice. Um, Voracious Theropod. Tribute, draw a card or loyalty to Blitz. 11 11. Dinosaurs are big. Um, Winds of Wrath, deal 7 damage to a target, or deal 7 damage to each champion. Oh, that was our last wild. Now let's check our evil cards. Um, oh, Calcify, you're, uh, taking out that dino in the evilest way I can think of. You may break target, zero champion, draw two cards. I like it's May. You may break one and draw two cards. So if you don't want to draw two cards, or don't want to do it, you don't have to. Demonic Patron. Ambush. Tribute or loyalty to put a demon token. Frenzy. Your evil champions have three attack and three health. Yeah, you're going to get rid of that guy as soon as you can. Oh, a dire crocodile. Evil giant crocodile champion. Um, so put tribute and or two... Uh, put two one one counters on this card. You may break target champion with less attack. Uh, evert. They're just being mean to this dinosaur. Um, put four, four zombie tokens into play. Target player breaks one of their champions and invoke. Hidden pack. Uh, put a demon token into play. Your evil champions get one at plus one plus one, or you may invoke. Necromatic. Excavator. Tribute. Banish. Target players. Discard pile. Put a zombie token to play for each champion. Banish this way. Reincarnate. Draw two cards or break target champion. The player whose turns may return a zero champion from their discard pile to play. Revenant. Um, spirit champion. Grudge. You may either draw a, draw, draw a card or break target opposing champion. Seance. Draw two cards or return up to three target cards that share a class from your discard pile to your hand. Alright, so those are the first cards I think I've really seen that let you pick a class. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, Soul Devourer. Um, banish any number of cards from your discard pile that deal that much damage to target champion. Soul Snap. Draw two cards. Banish any number of target cards from your discard pile. Deal that much damage to target champion. So there's a lot of stuff that lets you deal stuff to champions. Not a lot that lets you deal stuff to players. But that's the whole point. You get rid of all their cards and then they have to take damage. 
Uh, break target champion you control, gain health equal to its defense, or pay to draw two cards. Tormented Spirit, unblockable by token champions. And Grudge, deal three damage to target player, gain three health. Uh, Wave of Woe, draw two cards, or each champion deals damage equal to its attack to itself. And since lots of guys have equal, that can take out a lot. And last evil card is Wrath, Ambush, Airborne, uh, Tribute, uh, another target champion gains minus 5 attack this turn. And then we have our Sage, our last alignment, the blue ones, the Avian Polymorphist, uh, Airborne, Ambush, which target champion either gains or loses Airborne this turn. Cloudburst. Draw two cards. Return all attacking and blocking champions to their owner's hand. Draw a card. Commune. Draw two cards or invoke. Um, Deja Vu. Expend a target champion or recycle. Fate Manipulator. Ambush. Tribute and your loyalty to put two plus one plus one counters on this card. Move a counter from this card to expend a target champion. Living Idea. That's a fun card. Um, Grudge. Return target card from your discard pile to your hand. Meddling Clairvoyant. Loyalty 2. Draw a card. Or Tribute. Bash any number of cards from your hand and then draw that many cards. Missile Mage. Tribute, loyalty 2, and or ally deal 2 damage to a target. That guy can just shoot missiles everywhere. I'm going to call him Tim. Uh, novice Wizard, draw a card. Uh, Puppeteer, ambush, loyalty 2, blitz. Either expand or prepare another target champion. Ooh, a prepared champion can attack or block again this turn. That's actually really fun. Uh, redesign. Draw two cards, or if it's your turn, transform target non-wolf champion into a wolf token and draw a card. Spirit away. Uh, return target champion to its owner's hand. At the end of the turn, that player discards two cards. Therma... I hate this word. Thermatide urge. I always mispronounce that. Um, at the end of your turn, if you have unspent gold, each player discards a card. Unravel. Um, target champion at the end of your turn, return that champion, all other champions, the same name to their owner's hand, or draw two cards. And the last one, we have Will O Wisp. Uh, ambush. Tribute and your ally, you may expend to target champion. All right. So that was our little box expansion, Guardians of Gowana. Uh, yeah, definitely a recommendation. Uh, again, I'd say either if you want to try the game out, this isn't a bad one to start with because of all the extra components. Um, and it gives you a decent idea of what to do with each different type of character. Um, or, if you're going to buy the base game, I wouldn't, I'd recommend maybe buying, like, one of these, too. Uh, just because that way you have all the extra components and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is a pickup game for two players, and you can just grab it. Each player can take, but even at two players, that also means, um, you can either, you have to mix the two colors together. So you can play Good and Evil versus Wild and Sage, or Good and Sage versus Wild and Evil. Or, you know, the different combinations right off the bat without having to figure stuff out. Versus the base game where it has a 30 card deck for each character. Or each uh, alignment. So, yeah, each player can play one of each deck. But if you want to start mixing them, then you have to actually stop and think about how to mix them. This lets you um, mix and match different colors. Very easily, just by 15, 15, just swap the four different colors around. So everyone get, get a better idea of how each one plays. So it's kind of fun as well. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye.